So I just wrapped up week six and to show just how dedicated I am to all, I think 19 of you that follow me, I drug this stupid camera all the way out into the middle of the park. Actually, no, I didn't do it for you. It was just, I'm, uh, I'm tired of filming in my kitchen. Today, decided to drag it out here to the park and an extra bonus, uh, it was raining when I got out here. And so I kind of had to wait for it to die down. And I actually drove around to try to find where there would be no people because this is still extremely awkward to record, but uh, it's part of the process. Um, not as awkward as the running right now, I guess. Anyway, just wrapped up another week of running and I kind of want to jump ahead a little bit because it looks like all the running that's coming up, all of those glory days of I get a lot of running, a lot of rest. <laughs> I don't think I've got any more of those coming up. So uh, this week started off with uh, day one was run walk intervals. Day two, if I remember right, I had a 10 minute run and then I had, I can't even remember how long. I had some kind of a walk in between and then another run. And then the final day, I believe that it was uh, 20 plus minutes of running. So I think it went okay, uh, wasn't, I'd, I'd be lying if I said that everything was was super easy and then I was just cruising through it right now. But I can say that at least the pacing seems to be pretty average. Like I'm I'm holding up. So even when I do extend the runs just a little bit longer, it looks like that I'm I don't know. Looks like that I'm doing all right. I, I'm trying not to get normally in the in the whenever I take on something like this, I'd say, all right, if I'm gonna go run for 45 minutes, my pace better be what it is for five minutes. And I know that that's not realistic, but that's just how I'm wired. And so if it doesn't happen that way, then I look at it like, well, you know, I'm screwing up. I'm, I'm, I'm failing at this, but with this, I'm just, I'm just trying to complete it. I'm just trying to build up the endurance just to run for whatever time is, is thrown at me. And it hit me this week, like, I don't know why I'm beating myself up over pace. I'm not even doing anything really to increase my pace. I'm not doing hill work, I'm not doing sprints. I'm just going out and logging the time basically. So I should probably throw it out of the window. A couple of things, a couple of things hit me this week. Number one, when I got into that last day, I've been pretty hyped saying, yeah, I'm gonna take on a half, I'm gonna take on a full. And when I got into the middle, when I got into the middle of that final day, I thought, you are an idiot. Why would you ever want to run several hours? That's just crazy. And it's amazing how much of a mind game it gets into. Uh, I, I want to look at my watch. I don't want to look at my watch. I don't, I want to know my pace. I don't want to know my pace. How long have I been running? How many songs do I have left on this playlist before I hear the little ding that says, oh, you're, uh, you're done. And, and also that ding, and I mentioned this before, uh, that, that got me. As soon as I heard that on one of these days, I thought, oh, thank goodness, I'm going to stop running. And that stupid boy said, one minute left. And, and it's, it's hard, like when you're running uh, for a time period that you're not used to running and then you stop, it is really difficult to get going again and to try to pick up the pace. Because on that last minute, I, I don't try to sprint, but I try to make that, I try to, I don't know, maybe I do try to sprint. I guess if you looked at me, it doesn't look like I'm sprinting, but I'm trying to go a little bit faster, I should say. The second thing that hit me this week, it was kind of odd because it was something that really came out of out of the blue, if you will. It wasn't necessarily something that I had tied to running at all. And it was something that came ironically from one of our cycle bar instructors. If you're not familiar with cycle bar, it's indoor cycling. And it's, it's, basically, it's basically a nightclub, um, a dance club on uh, an indoor bike. Definitely something that was out of my comfort zone when I first went to try it, but it has been hands down one of the best decisions I have made physically and mentally in quite a long time. I, I just know like when I mentioned this, 
the instructor that it came from is going to be like, wow, you know, that's really cool that you mentioned this, but uh, how come you haven't been to one of my classes in a while? And but if I mentioned in one of the previous vlogs that this instructor I would go to on a Thursday night at seven o'clock and to turn around on a Friday morning and go lift or do anything with my legs, it's just been pretty hard on me. So I'm trying to find another day where I can come take a class with this instructor. But I think anybody that is familiar with Cycle Bar, you could probably say this, and let's see if you agree with me, that a lot of the instructors have some go-to phrases that they like to use. And some, some are repetitive, some aren't. And this instructor, I'll put her name out there, is Victoria. She's great. I have nothing bad to say about her, except that she kicks the living snot out of me every time that I'm there in class in a good way. One of the things that that she says, and actually the first thing that came to mind was she'll say, add two to three. So if you're on the bike, adding two to three means adding levels of resistance. And she's she doesn't understand, hey, you, maybe you can add one gear. She's always adding two to three to the point where I get it. I get down there and I'm like, I, I can't I can't add anymore. I'm going to die. I have to pick on her about that. However, one of the other things that she says is, can you make a change? And that phrase ever since she said it has has really I don't know, that's just been kind of ingrained in my mind. And in, in that environment, when she says, can you make a change? I think it's kind of cool because it's it's a question but it's also a statement. It's a it's a challenge. She knows we're capable of making some type of a change. Now, that might be uh, going a little faster. That might be adding a little bit of gear or a lot of gear. It might be actually trying to do the choreography, which still is beyond my control. But there is something that you can do different in that moment. And I, I love that because it's a it's a challenge, but it's phrased in a question and it's it's just not non-threatening i would say that question has popped in my head at some odd places uh outside of cycle bar so i was at the gym doing I, it was something random i think it was like a dumbbell incline press i don't know if you guys are the same way but uh there's there's times where i kind of go through the motions used to grabbing the same dumbbells but this day for some reason as i sat down on the bench i just heard victoria in my mind saying can you make a change and so i went and swapped out the dumbbells got a little bit heavier set this this week <laughs> um and i'm sure she's probably laughing if she could see this this week, I got out here and I went to go for a run and I was out here on the Eglon, which I'm at right now, which is, like I said, it's flat and it's great for me. But for some reason, as I got out of the car, I thought I had that question pop in my head. Can you make a change? For me, that meant that I had to get out of my comfort zone doing this training program. And instead of playing it safe and trying to intentionally go the route where there is very, very little elevation change. I thought, can I make a change? And the answer is yes. The answer is always yes. So this week I intentionally selected the routes that had uh, the hills that I've been avoiding. And before you, you know, give me kudos on that, I didn't pick like the crazy hills. There's some like way down here that uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe in a couple of years I'll do. I don't even like going on those things on a bike. But anyway, I did pick something that I knew was going to be a little bit more more challenging and <clears throat> and it was it I feel like there was one day in particular where kind of got in my head I was like Man, <laughs> this is hard I have to really really slow down and I felt like I was at a crawl pace but then when I go back and look at my Garmin uh, I'm, I'm actually holding my own on that so it was a big eye-opener for me that whole, can you make a change? I think when that question pops up in my head now, it's not, can you make a change? It's what are you going to change? Because that was a big thing, being able to intentionally go select where the higher hills were instead of picking a solid flat ground. And not just that, but I actually, one day I intentionally went and timed the turnaround so that I could go over this in this uh, bridge a second time. Can you make a change? If, if you're following this or maybe you're thinking, I want to go for a run or I want to start a program, whatever it is, I want to try a cycle bar, whatever it is. That's a really great question to think about. Can you make a change? And I love that 
I love that when Victoria asked that, it's it's such a non-threatening, it's a, it's encouraging, it's challenging, it's saying, hey, I know where you are, I know that you're uncomfortable, but I also know that you are more capable of doing exactly what you're doing right now. And I think that's the whole purpose of me trying to do this program and even try to vlog about it. It's not, it's not comfortable getting out here in the park. It's not comfortable walking out to the middle of the field. I hear people and I'm thinking, what if somebody walks up and sees me out in the middle of this place with my tripod up? But the, 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 big, the big takeaway for me this week was that I felt like I leveled up a little bit in terms of the the challenge that I was giving myself. Not only did I complete another week, which was fantastic, but I don't know, I feel like I did it at a, a greater challenge to what I've been doing. So I felt even more successful once I got done with it and hit that runner's high. All those mind games that I was playing in the middle of that last run run away and I was right back to, yeah, you know, gonna go back and do a, I'm gonna go do a full marathon, a half marathon. So I don't, I don't know how that, is still going to hold up considering how things are going. I might get to a point where, you know what, I'm going to delete all these videos because I quit the program. If all of these vlogs disappear, all of you 19 followers, I know are going to be so disappointed, but hey, it's just what happened. So really, I'm just going to try to stay in the moment. I'm not going to try to focus on my pace. I want to focus on the breathing, my technique, and just seeing can I get through the whole the whole program without walking because i know what's going to happen i know that i'm going to hit those longer runs and i know at some point i'm going to want to walk because nobody's watching nobody's going to really look at my data if i don't show them and i could just go about my business but i it, it would mean a lot to me if i didn't quit on my goals like that and to just keep pushing as hard as i can and to really see this thing all the way through. That's all I got for this week. So if I survive another week and don't die out here at the park, I guess I'll find some time to upload another one of these things. Till next time.